Richard Johnson. I'm a senior from Northwest. And <laughs> period. <laughs> and this is my piece. Oh, and I'd like to issue a content warning for a fairly heavy religious discussion, if that's a problem for anyone in here. Uh, this is my piece, Rights of God and Rights of Men. What right does God have to lord over us? Why should we submit to the mandate of a consciousness so beyond our comprehension, so alien to us, that its motives are the subject of not only interpretation, but wars, philosophies, and schisms? Ancient debates based upon the singular question of one God's lordship over creation and morality above that of another's God. Must we be coddled ever cowering for their protection from devils within and without man's comprehension? A good parent must let the child go to experience existence. So why must we stay coddled in its, in its eminence? Are we to submit to creation and infinity without question? If God is an artist of life, why must we never strip away the artifice to understand and see what God is made of? Why must we grovel and kneel? Because of faith? Because of respect? Or is it fear of God's power? And fear of God's judgment by a standard we cannot really know? Must we rage and prostrate ourselves on the altar of fear, submit from fear of what we cannot rage against? But we cannot fight a god more than an ant fights a falling boot. A thought in the mind that might conjure fear of brimstone and rapture. But would you feel wretched or evil wiping the ant from life? Or do you simply acknowledge it as a lesser being than yourself? Is it evil to not even register a life so many fathoms below yourself? Or is it just the nature of a superior conscience? So what thought would a god give mere men? Why would a god defi tolerate defiance from being so infinitely below itself? From twisted compassion, a sense of domination, or simple indifference? Why should we, as people with thinking minds and beating hearts, tolerate living purely from the line of another being's limited compassion? Why must we reject the depths of the human soul to appeal to the divine? All my life, my family is feared and worshipped in equal measure the God they revere above, but I won't live in fear, and I won't worship a divine I find unworthy, scraping for the love of a being I find unworthy of love and unwilling to give it without servitude. Even if it damns me to an inferno unimagined where I can scream from the burns only for my mouth to fill with hellfire, I would go with unfaltering pride that I did not submit. Thank you.